about the day perform stereotypes and they say, okay, whatever else you might have said. It's time for today's Judge Mathis Throwback. And stay tuned for the special return of one of the litigants from today's throwback case. Plaintiff Kelly Hubert says years ago her father dated the defendant's mother and they became friends. Kelly claims CPS was called on the defendant after she left her one-year-old daughter alone in a car. And she's suing her today for stolen money and emotional distress. Defendant Triana Stokely says Kelly is no angel, and she can't believe that Kelly is trying to throw her under the bus like she's some kind of horrible person. Triana is countersuing for defamation of character. Start with you. Okay, my name is Kelly Hubert. I'm 30 years old. I'm from the east side of Chicago. Um, I've been knowing uh, the defendant, Triana Stokely, since she was about five years old. I was raised by a single father. My father used to date her mother. Okay. Um, it came a point in time where her mother wasn't working anymore. My dad took in her mother and her other two siblings, and he took care of all three Ooh. of them as well. And where at in Chicago? Uh, well, when we were living, when we were children, was on 92nd and Harper, which is a block off Stony, which is also a gang. I know it's a tough area. Yeah. That's why I was trying to give some uh, props to your dad. Yeah. Um, doing all that in such a gang ridden, tough area. Good. Being responsible, you know. There's a stereotype that all black men living in the hood, uh, abandoning their children, and, uh, aren't, aren't providers and are criminals. But your dad stepped yeah, up and took, absolutely. as opposed to a lot of other dads, might have uh, shirked that responsibility. Absolutely. Particularly with girls. Yes. Uh, I still try to figure out what to say to my daughters. Yes. I did my best, and that's probably what your dad has oh, done his yeah. best, and it appears it's good enough. Yes. All right. In terms of your professionalism, you seem educated and well spoken. That's Absolutely. What I'm talking Thank about. you. I appreciate that. I'm trying to give some uh, props to your dad. Yeah. Um, doing all that in such a gang ridden, tough area. Good. Being responsible, you know. There's a stereotype that all black men living in the hood uh, abandon their children, and, uh, aren't, aren't providers, and are criminals. Plaintiff Kelly Hubert was friends with the defendant, and she claims the defendant was investigated by Child Protective Services after she left her one-year-old child alone in a car. All right, you give me some background on yourself. Well, as she stated, I've known her for a long time, and my mom was the fiance of her father. And we lost contact for a couple of years or so, and then we just basically rekindle our relationship like I'll say a year and a half ago and I moved in with her. Was it like living with her? It wasn't bad living with her. It was just like my means of communication were a little bit off. That's basically all. It wasn't All right. Bad. Well, that sounds like bad. a good uh, roommate arrangement. All right. You want to tell me more? Um, when she was residing with me, I, it wasn't that bad. I understand that she's younger than I am. I'm young myself. I'm 30. Mm -hmm. I had my first child at 16 years old. My dad was living. He told me, look, if you're going to be out here making babies, you're going to stay in school, you're going to keep them grades up, Good. or you going to have to find you somewhere else to go. Why? I'm not having it. And that's mm -hmm. what I did. I graduated high school on time. Mm -hmm. I went to college for healthcare management. I, uh, after I got done with that, in the meantime, when I was going for school with that, I picked up a trade in medical assistant. I started working for the state um, as well yeah. in the a, a prior authorization department. That's where I'm at now. When she came to live with me, I inspired her to go back to school for medical assistant as well. So I can try to help her get on her feet because living with me is not going to be permanent. I, we can't we can't do that now. I helped her with taking care of her, take care of her daughter as well. I watched her daughter for her. A lot of times, even my kids help her, help with watching her daughter as well. I told her about getting her credit fixed and everything. I tried to get her in tune with that as well. And mm. then um, she had an incident uh, with Child Protective Services with leaving her daughter in the car in January, her one-year-old daughter in the car. Okay. I come home, she told me that the lady from CPS wanted to talk to me. I vouched for her. I don't want to see your child going to the system and said that she was a good mother. She's just young and she just needed a little guidance. Okay. So I vouched for her for that because I know she do love her daughter, but she's not responsible though. Then come May 1st, April 30th, she went 
with one of her friends and the baby daddy, one of her friend baby daddies and another guy, they go to Wisconsin and they do some fraud, some fraud out there in Wisconsin. Fraud, you say? Yeah, fraud, mm -hmm. yeah. But there was cracking cars, car cracking? Or cashing fraudulent checks or something like that. Or car that cracking? No. So when she goes out there, we thinking that she kidnapped. Credit card away, man. <laughs> that Go we thinking ahead. that she kidnapped and everything else. And they send the police to the girl house thinking that they got her in the house kidnapped. We didn't know where she was at. We found out they went on a high speed chase out in Wisconsin and everything with the police for doing some type of car. Hold cracking. on to that. You the, pol you the police. I better let the police hold on to my car. <laughs> 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 <Go ahead. laughs> so come June 4th, she sends me cash one for fifteen hundred dollars another one for two thousand she didn't tell me she was sending i just get the notification of cha-ching on my phone so i'm like okay somebody just sent me some money <laughs> i look and so i'm like why would she send me so what why did she send me some money so she calls me she say hey um i just sent you some money can you send two thousand dollars to my friend and the other fifteen hundred dollars i want you to keep and hold i said why won't you just send this $2,000 to your friend yourself? She says to me, oh, I tried to send it to her, but it wasn't going through for some reason. So I said, listen, if any, I don't know, I know they do a lot of fraudulent stuff with all these apps now. I said, if any, if this is any type of fraudulent thing that's going on, I'm going to be on top of you about this and I'm not playing. You know, I'm trying to get my grandmother's house. My grandmother, which is my dad's mother, she just passed. I cannot have my bank accounts being closed or anything. My son's birthday is, was the, follow, is the following month. I can't have any of that. I promise you, sis, I wouldn't do that to you, sis. I promise you, I promise you. Okay, cool. The same day I sent her friend the $2,000, I hold the $1,500 for her. Over the course of about three weeks, this is June 4th, by July 2nd, I gave her the $1,500 she asked for, $500 here, $300 here, $500, $200, until the $1,500 was gone. July 2nd, you got your whole $1,500 back. Let me let her tell me a little bit about what happened. Okay. Well, for one, I did inform her that before I sent the money, that I was letting her know that that was my money that I was sending her, and that was for her to hold until I let her know that I would be needing the money back. Who taught you that game? What game, Your Honor? <laughs> the hold the money game. Go ahead. Well, I trusted her with my money, so Come I felt the now. need to Come on, the money. All right, go and ahead. I'm not gonna tell her what I trusted you're doing. her to I'm, hold the I money. I want you all to stay and very close. So I'm not gonna give her the game. Go <laughs> and ahead. And it's, it's true that I did ask her, can she send a friend of mine some money? And that's what she did. Hold this, send it to him, and then you get it back. Got yeah, that. We know but that. But I know that I did inform her that mm -hmm. she did. A guy who happened to be from Nigeria tried that on. <laughs> I knew he tried. He did that a lot to people. But the game is to be sold, Just not told. happened to be. Not that many do from Nigeria, but this guy just happened to be. Go ahead. But what I do not like is somebody trying to throw me under the bus like I'm a, a horrible person. Like with one of her friends and the baby daddy, one of her friend baby daddies and another guy, they go to Wisconsin and they do some fraud, some fraud out there in Wisconsin. Fraud? You say? Yeah, fraud, yeah. But they were cracking cars, car cracking? Or cashing fraudulent checks or something like that. Or car cracking? Plaintiff Kelly Hubert was friends with the defendant, and she claims the defendant was investigated by Child Protective Services after she left her one-year-old child alone in a car. The man was manipulating you, I'll tell you that. I won't even blame you. Her man was manipulating her into that. It Same? was something, because yeah, I, I was good that. to her. What's your defense today in the paying her? Well, the 1500 that was taken out of her account I explained to her everything. I communicated with her throughout the whole ordeal. And I even gave her my $300 in the meantime of me waiting for the money to be processed onto my card so that I can give it back to her. Hadn't been processed, it has. Has not been processed. How many years? They claimed it was sent to a card that's not even linked to my account. I have a whole different other card that's been on my account for over a month. So I don't even see how they can even process the card. I even communicated with my bank as well. So. What's your counterclaim? 2000 How does she defame you? Well, she's basically saying that I stole from her when I did not steal Who did she her. tell that to? She told Facebook. You got evidence? What should I look yes, at? Yes, on mm -hmm. page. And you say basically, so let's see what basically <laughs> means to you. Well, on page 21, I can't find the other post because it was deleted. And that's about how you're acting. Like you're 21, you're 
cousin here or god sister would yes god yeah, sister you yeah. all uh, she is very responsible i'm so proud of her and she's mentoring you and don't let this man manipulate you in the cross and the person who shows you so much love and is helping to guide your life i had a cousin who was 12 years older than me i believe and he helped get me uh, out of jail into my gd into the college that he went to and i think it worked out and so his name is Addison Hines. I know, get put some money away for him. Yeah, Every time I mention that story and mention his name, I got to throw him a thousand. So. <laughs> All right, it's on the way, man. Uh, <laughs> and he doesn't let you forget don't, don't it. Don't you do like that, all right? <laughs> and don't charge her every time you tell the story of helping her become successful. But you got my point. You got a great young lady here. You all sound like you're doing great things and you're on your way. Uh, Y'all just slow down on the drinking the weed and chasing men. <laughs> don't let those three things get in your way, all right? All right. Now, does anyone know where I can go to file a lawsuit against someone who isn't? She didn't mention your name. It was another. She said, "Anyone know where I can file a lawsuit?" But I couldn't find it because it was deleted, and she knew to delete. Well, when you find it, bring it back. <laughs> when I find he it, he didn't well. train you well. <laughs> you need a better con player. Let me send you to Detroit. <laughs> Get some real training. You come with that weak game there. I got it in his race, and I can't find it. Come on now. You're supposed to say, there it is, Judge. <laughs> and I said, I don't see it. And you're supposed to say, well, you lost it. <laughs> okay. I'll be there. It's gone. Right. It's gone, so. There's no point of I don't, I, don't, I don't do that. The whole Facebook thing, that's all I ask on there. And people uh, told and me. you were right. Yeah. I, I really admire you, young lady. I'm proud of you. Your emotional distress, however, is for what? My emotional distress is because during the whole ordeal, she kept lying, saying that she didn't file a dispute against me. When she did that, I had to pay my rent. I was late on my rent. My son couldn't have his birthday party because of that. Even so, explain to her, Judge, in my uh, messages, that I can't even... I, I, I was going to go to the grocery store to buy food. Well, she could also tell you that I gave her my link card on that page. That's all right. That ain't the issue. Okay. It says you filed a dispute with your bank. I just wanted my 1500 back because my son cannot go without. My friend is about to buy the boys a pizza since now I'm broke. I have no money to feed them. You did put her in hardship, I'm convinced. And so therefore I am going to grant her the emotional distress along with the repayment of the money. You have to get your money from Cash App. You can't hold your debt up that you owe her based on what Cash App and the other banking institutions do with you. What about the $300 I gave her? And you didn't sue for that. Her. Counterclaim for defamation is dismissed. Had you sued for the 300 we could have discussed it. But you didn't sue for that. Stick with her instead of that con plan, uh, half con plan. He <laughs> slow con. Plaintiff Kelly Hubert was friends with the defendant. And she claims the defendant was investigated by Child Protective Services after she left her one-year-old child alone in a car. Who plays con and got to pay saying, it back? She act like she a good person. You got to pay back a good con, person. man. She with married men. You got to pay back con, man. That's a real con, man. She left her son in the house. Judgment for the plaintiff. Yours is dismissed, man. You had to with married men. You got thousands of hundreds of dollars. And you got older than me. And you got older than me. You never got a dollar. And you got a dollar. I'm not going to let y'all do this. I'm not going to let y'all do this. Y'all too close and she's doing too much to enhance your life. And you need to stick with her. All right. Whatever you do, stick with her. My buddies that stuck with me, they're all right. Now, the ones that didn't, they in jail. All right. Have a good Thank day. You. Judges for the <laughs> No, I just, I just want to tell her that, you know what? Anybody else off the streets that you would have did that to, they would have really put their hands on you. I, I never touched you. I never threatened to do nothing to you or nothing. I helped you take care of your daughter. You did. I even offered to help you buy your baby a power wheel. And after you, you didn't buy me, nothing, I you still, came, you bought I a lot still, of stuff, but you never bought nothing. To help at the end of the day, I offered you lied. to help you. You ain't never did nothing. Bye. Half of the stuff I did okay, for you. Okay, bye. And now, a special throwback update as one of the litigants is back in Judge Mathis's courtroom. Plaintiff Kelly Hubert says the defendant is her brother, and of all her siblings, he was the spoiled one, and he still is. 
Kelly claims the defendant is 29 years old, but their father still takes care of him. And she's suing him today for the balance due on a loan. Defendant Kyle Hubert says his sister looks innocent, but she's nothing but a gold digger and a homewrecker who has ruined four marriages. Kyle insists he tried to repay Ruth with his link card, but she refused. Start with you. Um, first and foremost, I want to say it is a pleasure to come here and see you again. I was previously in your courtroom last year. Um, I actually won my case. But well, this year, now you're back. Yeah, now I'm back. All right, you sue happy. Sue happy. Sue happy. Yeah, sue happy. This time, time, I didn't get scammed, though. So, that's, in... right. that's right. You just like stand up for yourself. That's right. Give me some background on you and your brother's relationship, if you like, uh, going back into the old days. What do you want to tell me? Um, well, my dad, of course, is a single father. He raised me, my brother, and my sister by himself. So, we all grew up in a same household. Um, Hats him. off to him. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. <laughs> we all grew up in the same household. Um, Kyle, my brother, he has always been very quiet when we were kids. He was a very like quiet child. Um, when he started to get a little older, he just did like a whole 360. Then he just became like the child that was like very like outgoing. How many children is it again in the house? Well, it was three. All right. So when he got taller than y'all, he started making. Oh, oh yeah. That's what that was. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. bullied him when he was young. Oh yeah. And then he got taller. He said, "I ain't playing this no more." <laughs> That's what happened. But go ahead. He, he you started, say he decided to stretch out. Yeah, he started to stretch out. Like, everybody, like, what happened to your brother? He used to be so quiet. When people see him, they like, oh, my God, like, I can't believe that's your brother. I'm like, yeah, that's him. They be like, what's going on with his hair? Like, why does he walk around like with his hair like that? Do you know, Judge, he's 29 now. He's had his hair like that since he's been 12 years old. Oh. Like, <laughs> I was about to say he's ahead of his time. <laughs> Oh, and he's very, very, very animated. Very animated. Like, out of all of us, everybody has things going on, doing right. But he always was the sport child. Um, everybody got their own place, own place to live, pay their own rent, mortgage, whatever. Him, my parents still take care of him. Um, just recently, my dad told him, you know, you need to get your life together. He gave him a year. He said, I'm going to give you a year. So get yourself together, and then you got to find you somewhere to go. You too old for this. You got a daughter. You can't be out here drinking, partying. He thinks he's a rock star. Like, that's what he thinks. He thinks he's a rock star. Without a guitar. Yeah. He, <laughs> you got it. He or thinks a he's fan. a rock star. Or a fan. <laughs> he, his, him and his friends, his best friend, he goes on Facebook, YouTube. He makes these videos dressed up like a superhero, riding around the hood. Like, Does he get a lot of views? Well, yeah, everybody thinks he's funny. Well, yeah. Well, he might be on to something if he uh, makes a serious effort at it. That sounds pretty funny, and that's what you guys watch on TikTok and Instagram and Instagram Live and all the other things, so he might be on to something. Plaintiff Kelly Hubert is suing her brother, who claims Kelly is a gold digger and a home wrecker. Give me some background on yourself, sir. Uh, and your relationship with your sister? You know, I grew up in uh, Chicago, Illinois, right off uh, right off Stony Island. No wonder you were quiet. He was shook. He wasn't quiet. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, run up over there in that part of Chicago. Go ahead, young man. Man. Go ahead. So, uh, yeah. But start on my sister. Mm -hmm. She a sinner, Judge. She's a sinner? Yeah, she a sinner. She break up. Happy homes. She messed up like four marriages. She can't find her own man. She always want to judge. She ain't nothing. She a gold digger, and I'm just tired of her crap. She said I owe her. I ain't gonna lie. She did let me borrow the money, judge. I ain't gonna lie. She did. <laughs> but I told her I'm gonna pay it back on the first. So when the first comes, she talk about you say you gonna pay me back. Before my money. we get to what she's suing you about, do you want to tell me anything about yourself? She has made it sound as if everyone has to try and push you out the door to do for yourself. Did you finish high school? Did you prepare yourself for the w m workplace beyond high school? One yeah, time? I had went to uh, George Washington High School, finished school there, then I had transferred, then I had to go to, uh, then I had transferred, and went to Olive Harvey for like 
a year to take my CDLs. I went for that. CDL is that truck driving? Yeah, 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 yeah. truck driving. Yeah, I went there for. Yeah, I went there. Then you know, I just you know every now and again, you know, people hit rock bottom. So I just hit rock bottom. I needed some money from. I just hit rock bottom. So okay, yeah. are you working though? What did you do with that CDL license? Nothing. My license got suspended. A lot of people know. making money with that. Did you ever do it? Did you ever drive trucks? For like two, three months, yeah. And your license was suspended mm -hmm. for what? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Drinking and driving? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. I can't go in the... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie with drinking, Joe. You won't be able to get your license back in the future? May, is it suspended temporarily? Six, or? It's six months. Okay, so you're gonna get back on the road after that? I'm gonna do everything, Joe. And get back to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What do you want to tell me about his drinking and his other habits? Is that interfering <laughs> with his life? Absolutely, it definitely and is. And you talk about him so bad, how about these families you didn't broke up? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have not I have not broken up not not any families at all. I don't know what he's talking about you when he's saying gold that. Digger. I wouldn't call myself a gold digger because I don't ask men for money. They give it to you. Yeah. You got the answer? And, and if it wasn't he doesn't have a I shovel. Would, I would have well he wouldn't have got no money from me. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well let me get into your uh uh work. Uh, status. Yes, I work for the state as a referral coordinator, case manager. Oh, good. So I do have a, a very good career. Sure so, do. you know. You sure do. Congratulations. <laughs> that is Thank a very you. good career. Thank you. So I'm, do, I'm doing pretty good. Sure I is. can't believe she him. ain't no man to take care of her. She I takes know. care of herself. She didn't come in here looking like no gold digger. She, I don't know how many bags and all that other stuff she had. Did she got a bunch of what they call them? Why she gonna know? Birkin. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to see, see? She got a Birkin bag and all that. And spending all the money on red bottoms and living in a fabulous place. That's what gold diggers do. <laughs> they don't, and they don't work full time like that. Yeah. Uh, they, if she a gold I gotta digger, have my own money. Yeah, she got the, yeah, she has her own money. So leave her alone about that. Mm -hmm. She's a productive career woman who was able to loan you 2800 Let's yes. get to that part. So my dad told him, he said, he gave him the year, the year is up. So he gave him a couple of months outside of the year. So my dad said, you know what? I, I need to, he said, the only reason how your brother gonna move is if I sell this house. So I'm about to sell the house. So my dad, he sells the house. He said, Hold on, he had to sell the house for this house. <laughs> Go ahead. That's so a he said, sell the house and get him out. <laughs> so he tells him, he said, listen, I got somebody to put an offer in that closed on this day. You got to find you somewhere to go, brother. Just like that. He comes to me. He's procrastinating two weeks before the closing. He comes to me. He said, listen, I got to find somewhere to go. You definitely ain't coming to live with me. I did that with the last person. I brought her to let somebody live with me. I don't let people live with me anymore. Yeah, I don't no, care you gotta have some place for them husbands to talk about. Go ahead. Plaintiff Kelly Hubert is suing her brother, who claims Kelly is a gold digger and a home wrecker. Go ahead. So I said, you know what? I said, I said, he said, well, I found the place. I said, okay, how much money do you need? He said, I need $3,000. I said, now how you gonna pay me my money back? I'm gonna pay you back when I get my taxes. I said, listen, yeah, we ain't yeah. gonna start that mess. We ain't gonna start that mess. I said, listen, if you don't pay me my money back, I'm gonna call the big dogs on you. I'm talking about my daddy. So he said, I'm for real, I'm gonna pay your money back. Taxes come around, he gives me $200. I said, where's the rest of my money at? He says, well, you know, um, Biden just signed this, uh, this uh, Biden about to give us a new stimulus. I said, <laughs> Biden. oh Biden my God. Right. <laughs> you should have called him directly, but go ahead. <laughs> I said, oh my God, I said, I said, listen, I want my money. I'm not playing. I want my money. He said, I'm for real. Biden about to sign this new stimulus. He said, I just, I got to put some new furniture and stuff in, in in my new crib and stuff like that. He has a daughter. I want my niece to not be sleeping on the floor. When she come over, I say, okay, cool. So when you get that stimulus, I want my money. Stimulus check come around. He, I pulls up uh, on the block where he lives at. I see him getting in the car. I say, uh, who car is this? He said, this is my new car. You like it? I say, 
where's my money at? I said, this what you spent your money on? On this, on this raggedy car? And then he's attaching his bicycle. He's dressed up with his superhero costume on, <laughs> running around looking like Blank Man. And he's attaching it with his little Blank Man costume on to, his, on to the car. I said, I just couldn't believe it. I said, you know what? I said, I want my money. I said, you got 30 days to give me some type of form of payment for my money and I'm not playing with you. He said, okay, I got you, sis. I'm gonna start paying you back. I haven't received nothing. It's the same thing. He's still running around like meteor man, blank man, all over Facebook, <laughs> social media. Two things you yeah. said that are somewhat impressive. He did get a place with the money because some young folks would not do that. They mm -hmm. pop it off and then still need uh, to stay with you or stay with somebody else. Here's a young man trying to save his money, do the right thing, spend conservatively. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> right. Go ahead, sir. Tell me about the money with your, oh, with your sister. I remember owing her 25, 30, 2,500. 3,000, but I was drunk when I borrowed it from him for one. Let's start this off. So I thought I was gonna get my stimulus check. So I told her, I'll pay her in Link. I got a Link card. I give, I give her some Link. She didn't want to take the Link, Judge. Come on, you could have taken the Link. Come on, anybody can use some Link. Yeah, I'm gonna get him out of here. It's looking worse and worse. <laughs> now you got Link. You losing girls by the minute. Them videos, them videos aren't gonna be able to help you in a minute. You telling women that you're short on money, you, your bread is short. Now you're telling them you get your own stamps. <laughs> now you're telling them that you can't pay back. Now you're coming here looking drunk. Now you're telling them you're on pills doing all this. <laughs> yeah, okay. you're going, he got a girlfriend? No, his girlfriend I, broke you, up with him and moved to a whole nother state. Uh, I see why. Yeah. 2800 is your judgment. Good luck. He had missed Thank the you. on you. He's a little confused about when, how much, and I was drunk. So there, you're very clear. Yes, 2800 is your judgment. Have a good day. Uh-huh. Look at him. He's a fool. Hold <laughs> I'm going to see you again. <laughs> I'm going to see you again. I'm going to see you again. I know you stay at me. Um, I just want to say, one, ain't nobody worried about him. For two, I just hope that he does better, get his life together, stop all that drinking, and cut that hair off his head. He's too old for it.